பிரிவா சரணம் தஸ் பேக் த பரமாச்சாரியா டைரக்டிங் ஆல் ஆக்ஷன்ஸ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் காட் இன் ஆர்டர் டு மிங்கிள் அவர் மைண்ட் வித் காட் ஆர் டு ஹெஸ் சபார்டினேட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் த தேவதாஸ் வி ஆர் கிவன் மெனி மந்த்ராஸ் ஆர் இன்கான்டேஷன்ஸ் வைல் வி பாத் இன் த ஏர்லி மார்னிங் வி மஸ் பிளேஸ் ஆர் புட் சம் த்ருவ கிராஸ் ஆர் அர்கம் புல்லு அண்ட் சம் ஏர்த் ஆன் அவர் ஹெட் we must consider the grass as an amsa or aspect of ishvara and chant the mantra called dhruva sukta the veda praises the dhruva grass in the dhruva sukta similarly we must also chant the mrittika suktam we must understand that the veda praises the grass and the mud which we generally value very little we must meditate on bhuma devi who is the consort of lord vishnu there is a mantra called agamarshana suktam which we should chant while bathing these mantras are intended to cleanse the atma or soul along with the bathing of the body the dirt of the atma or soul is our sins which are sticking to it agam means sin and marshanam means cleansing while we rub the body and clean the dirt on it we scrub out our sins from the mind or soul by chanting the agamarshana suktam those who are not eligible to chant the vedas can chant the govinda nama and it is said that govindeti sada snanam the govinda nama snanam is equal to bathing in the holy waters one must do good karmas by straining the body in order to release or lessen the burden and loads of sins that have been accumulated on us that is why our shastras have prescribed hundreds of karmas or satkaryas to be done by a jeevan they are given many strict rules and regulations to bind or restrain a jeevan into doing many karmas and observing many acharas yet the same god in his infinite mercy and grace shows some lenience to us when we are sometimes not able to observe all the karmas or acharas very strictly in spite of our sincerity and earnestness at those times he has allowed us to simply chant his holy names and think of him or meditate upon his grace and also has made some relaxations in the strict rules of achara but god will not give his grace to a person who does not observe any achara and simply keeps on saying hare rama hare krishna he is a wiser master and he cannot be so easily deceived or duped but if a man knows to surrender his whole self and soul to the god by chanting hare rama he need not have any achara or anushthana it is true that there have been many great people who did miracles by simply keeping on chanting only holy name of god but are we in such a state of excellence we should ourselves know about it God has stipulated so many acharas to be observed and karmas to be done a particular sect of people who are interested with the holy duty of protecting the veda mantras and their full efficacy and who are to do a lot of things using their brain or intellect such people are ordained to so many restrictions by the shastras and they are pre-force made to have so many anushthanas with relevant mantras at the same time people who help the society with their physical labor are not ordained so many acharas and anushthanas instead of chanting the mantras it is enough if they only say the holy names of gods or sing his praise in their devotional hymns that is why there are acharas prescribed in the shastras which give drishta or seen or visible efforts 
and adrishta or invisible results to say that we will accept only the visible results and discard the results and effects that are invisible is totally wrong we must follow the rules of achara as given in our shastra so that we may be delivered if not immediately but in the long course of time it is for such a permanent deliverance that our acharyas in the shastras prepare us and make us worthy of god's grace perivasharanam